Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. And we begin with news that some kids will be thrilled to hear, but maybe not parents. The World Health Organization is actually recommending video games as a treatment for our ongoing homebound existence. With the support of the WHO, game makers from Activision Blizzard to Zynga have just kicked off a new initiative called Hashtag Play Apart Together. The move is especially interesting because, as Kid News reported last year, the WHO had categorized video game addiction as an official mental health disorder. While it's still cautioning against excessive gaming, the organization hopes that the video game industry can help reach millions with an important message of encouraging players to stay home and still connect with people, since many videos let you interact with other players remotely at a safe social distance. The delayed Summer 2020 Olympics now have a new start date. The Tokyo Organizing Committee announced yesterday that the Games will begin on July 23, 2021, one day short of a year from when they were supposed to. And another big question that had been weighing on the minds of athletes has also been resolved. The president of the International Olympic Committee says that all the individual athletes and national teams that have already qualified to compete in Tokyo will keep those slots. As of last week, a little over half of the 11,000 athletes expected to take part in the Games had already sealed their participation. No prom this year? No problem. Last week, Danville, California high school senior Natalie Reese shot a video as she got all dolled up, then stepped out in her living room to dance with the only partner available, her dad. The video went viral. In no time, it had been viewed, liked, and loved 11 million times. For Natalie, that meant only one thing. She had to take it up a notch. This weekend, she recruited her whole family, two sisters, her mom, her good sport dad, again, and even her dog, to hold a full hair, makeup, dress, and TikTok dance quarantine prom for all her newfound fans. Their make the best of it fun again whipped around the globe. Natalie says she's just happy she was able to give her followers, now all 645,000 of them, a reason to smile. There's a reason to smile in Madagascar. The island nation off the east coast of Africa is getting ready to celebrate its 60th birthday, and it's doing so by planting 60 million new trees. The idea comes from the country's president, who was elected last year with the promise to make Madagascar green again. Many of the island's trees have been cut down and sold as a way to make money, since most of the people living there are quite poor. But regrowing trees and other wildlife is deemed critical because 80% of plants on the island are not found anywhere else in the world. Students are among those helping to plant the millions of tiny seedlings that will eventually grow up to become new forests for future generations. Popping up everywhere along empty streets... Teddy bears. The stuffed animals are appearing in windows all over the world and locations as far flung as New Zealand as part of teddy bear hunts. This social distancing activity is uniting neighborhoods and keeping kids busy during coronavirus lockdowns. The scavenger hunts were inspired by Michael Rosen's 1989 children's book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. In northeast Iowa, a group of young hunters spotted more than 250 teddy bears last weekend. And a mom in Maine said she and her kids searched for teddy bears for an hour in their car and didn't think about anything else during that time. Before we get to our quiz, just a reminder to keep Kid News in mind when you're looking to support kid-friendly organizations. We've partnered with a nonprofit, so all your donations are tax-deductible. Now, our Kid News quiz. Which global group is surprisingly recommending people play video games while homebound? The World Health Organization. What decision was made about athletes and teams that have already qualified for the now rescheduled Summer Olympics? They will still compete in the Games next year. What kind of hunt is going on around the world inspired by a children's book? A teddy bear hunt. What is the country of Madagascar doing to celebrate its 60th birthday?
It's planting 60 million new trees. And one for the road. Madagascar has no tigers, zebras, giraffes, or hippos, despite what you might have seen in the animated movie of the same name. But over 100 different subspecies of lemurs have been identified there, along with 300 different kinds of birds and two-thirds of the world's species of chameleons. There are 25 million people living in Madagascar, and their primary language is French. The island was a French colony, but gained full independence on June 26, 1960. Before we go, our Kid News birthday shout-outs today go to Harper in Morristown, Indiana, Max in Lenexa, Kansas, Isaac in Opelika, Alabama, Trude in Bellevue, Washington, Lakshmi in East Hanover, New Jersey, and from California, happy birthday to Arjan and Jeevan in Oakland, Noah in Mountain View, Zoe in Westlake Village, Rylan in Yucca Valley, and Shawl and Eli in San Francisco. Our teacher hellos go to Mrs. Mills' third graders from Centennial Elementary in Edmond, Oklahoma, Mrs. Garber's fourth graders at Oak Tree Elementary in Gilbert, Arizona, and Ms. Stevens' fourth graders at Lion Park Elementary in Mount Prospect, Illinois. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, and we hope you tune in again for more Kid News tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning.